never back down, never what the official TV spot, advert, whatever you want to call it, the whole minute long, sexy second, advert, CGI, Spider-Man 2 is now released. Before it was leaked in Portuguese, but now we have the whole 60 seconds. It looks amazing. You have a nice HD version of Miles and Peter swinging and web swinging through to go to Venom. Then Venom launches out and just grabs Spider-Man. Look how big he looks. He does a little Miles Morales RKO move that is really like Spider-Verse and this game and every other Spider-Man stuff for the past few years like last year there's Venom crashes Spider-Man down to the floor and I'm telling you right now this frame looks exactly like this picture right here that's gonna be some kind of some some kind of easter egg right there's no way that they would animate that and not have it seem like that image and I've not seen anyone talk about it I might be reaching but it just looks too similar then you get a nice look at Peter's face a nice longer look gazing at me and Uncle Ben's grave. Then Miles is on his bed talking about how he doesn't know if he has enough power to save everyone. Like he has electric powers. He he can he can save people. And then we get the cleanest transition of all time. All time. You have Miles sitting on his bed charging up his venom ability. He charges up his venom ability and it transitions to him then attacking venom seamlessly i have gone through this frame by frame and it's seamless venom then chucks miles away while only attacking peter which is a common thing in this advert that venom is only going after peter and just throws miles away then peter gets up and throws this gadget which i'm pretty sure was this gadget from the game as it then makes an electric pulse wave thingy i forgot what it's called and attacks venom but only damages him a tiny bit. Peter then swings away with Venom jumping after him onto the wall of a building and Venom crashes on that building, Venom tentacles going through the building, chasing Peter, then crashing Peter as he cra grabs onto a web to launch himself off the building and fails to do so and just falls and hits a car on the floor. And then it cuts to Miles saying you never gave up while also showing his dad from the first game who also never gave up which I like it's a nice touch. Then cuts to Peter walking away from May's grave saying never back down. So you never back down never walk. <laughs> Venom is then running after Peter. Peter doesn't even have like a second to breathe bro he's just getting torn up. I mean look at his suit. His suit is torn up. He's dirty. Damaged. Miles comes in with a save catching Venom's hand so Spider-Man can get back up and use his spider legs to try and defeat him. I mean they don't defeat him, it's pretty obvious that they don't defeat him, but Miles is literally just there to try and give Spider-Man that bit of breathing time because Venom's purely only going after him. But yeah, after that Venom gets hit by a nice double team combo and has not even a scratch on him. And that was the end of the CGI trailer. In other news, something which I did kind of just put in the last video, but I've never talked about it, so I will talk about it now, is the settings and accessibility for the game. It's shown on the PlayStation blog website. It shows that you can change your challenge level like you could in the other games. You could also change the enemy health now. You can also change the enemy damage that they do towards you. You can now change the level for stealthness. So you can, ha if you're not bad at stealthiness and you like to fight, you can then just change that to easy and just get through it. <laughs> you have an option to simplify puzzles. You can also change the level for the dodge and parry. So you can either have a really quick, really slow, or the, or the default, which is like midway. You can also change the game speed, which we know about. So if you have trouble processing stuff pretty quickly, you can slow it down to 70%, 50%, or 30%. I don't know if you'd be able to affect it more than that. I'm pretty sure these are like the set times where you can slow it down. You can also change the audio frequency controls, which I don't understand, so I'm just gonna read off this really. They say additional options on our heroes gallery of accessibility features at launch are our audio frequency controls. These will allow players to disable uncomfortable sounds with with a high frequency cutoff, like high pitch ringing, low frequency cutoff like the base of an explosion, or custom setting with a notch frequency filter so they can better enjoy Pete's classic quips as he thrips with <laughs> as he thrips back a detonating grenade. 
So if it's too high, you're not gonna hear it. If it's too low, you're not gonna hear it. For the people that don't like big noises. And they've also got swing assist. And as they said here, steering assistant, higher values allow for easier web swinging while lower values reduce the amount of resistance and cause physics to have a greater effect on web line while swinging. We could have more physics gameplay in our web swinging. That's like what Spider-Man 2 was. The, the other Spider-Man 2. They also have slow corner time scale where you can slow the game speed during corner transitions to reduce disorientation when whipping around a corner at high speeds. Just like you could do in the first game, a platform is going to allow to be faster and look more like what Andrew Garfield's web swinging was like in his second movie. And I think it's pretty cool for people, people who get disoriented if it goes too fast on the corner because then they just lose where they are. So I like that feature. And you also have web line bending. With the web line, which we actually saw in the first gameplay trailer for the game, where Miles used while being stealthy, you can turn on slash off the ability of web lines to bend while walking on them. So Miles just didn't bend when you watch the gameplay trailer, but they probably would, I say probably, they will if you turn it on, they will bend if you step on them, which I think is pretty cool because then you can't stay on it for too long, otherwise it's just gonna, you know, break or go to the floor. So I think I, th I think it's pretty neat. So Insomniac is adding more physics to Spider-Man 2 than it did for the first two games. And they released a CGI TV spot, which I love. I especially love the music when Peter webs onto the building and runs away. I love it. That's all the news I've got for you guys today. Make sure to hit subscribe to stay updated with the rumors, news, and reviews. I will also be uploading a Spider Verse video a week before the game launches, which you can also see a teaser of on my community tab. So stay tuned for that. Bye. <laughs>